What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. In this video, let's take a look at the all new update that we have received on Samsung's Note application. This brings in a couple of new changes which are available in the change log here. As you can see, it supports PDF reader mode, uh, supports size option when attaching images, supports Android SOS, fixed other bugs. Now, before we go ahead and take a look at these changes, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, smash that subscribe button and leave a like for this video. The like target for this video is about 500. Do help me reach that goal. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at these changes. The first one is supports PDF reader mode. Now, we will not be able to see this feature on the Note application. This allows you to read a PDF file on your device. Let me show you how that works. Let's go to My Files. I'll open Documents and let me tap on one of the PDF files over here. Now you can see here we have Samsung Notes PDF Reader and Samsung Notes. So we get to see two different icons now from Samsung Notes. Now let me tap on Samsung Notes PDF Reader. As you can see, the PDF file is open on the Notes now. Here on the top right corner, you see this edit feature. I'll tap on this. Now we have got all the editing features right here at the bottom. This doesn't mean we can edit this PDF. We can only draw on these pages here. This feature will come in handy if you have to quickly open a PDF file and mark something on it and send it across to somebody else. That is the first feature. Now the second one is it supports size option when attaching images. Now let me show you this new feature on the current version by comparing it with the previous version. We have the Note 20 Ultra on the right, the Note 10 Plus on the left hand side. Let's tap on create note. And now on the top right corner, you can see we have an attach icon here. Now let me tap on this and let's attach an image on the note on both these phones. Now as you can see by default, this is how the image would look. Now we can tap on this three dot button and let me tap on both these phones. We have few options here. In the previous version, we have got a lesser crop remove anchor to text, clipboard, share, save image. In the all new version, we have got lesso crop, remove anchor to text, fit to page width. This is an all new option that we have. Then we have clipboard, share, save image. Now this all new fit to page width can fit this image to this entire page. Now let me tap on this. As you can see, the image that we have just attached is on the entire note. Whereas in the previous version, we had to manually expand the image to fit to the page. Even in the new version, we can still do that. Uh, that feature is still there. But if you want to fit the image to the page in an instant, you can do that by just tapping on this new option. That is the second change that we have got. Then the change log says it supports Android SOS, obviously, and Samsung has fixed the other bugs as well. This is what we have with this all new update. I'm hoping that you guys have also received it on your phone. If you haven't, just wait for it. Samsung might push it very soon. Once you get it, do let me know in the comment section below. I hope this video was useful to understand what are the changes. You might also like some tips and tricks videos on the Samsung's One UI 4.0. If you want to watch those videos, you can click the thumbnails here. I have also left some links in the description. Go ahead and check them out. That's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel and smashed that like button. Thanks for watching you guys. Take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.